Hey guys, quick video tutorial to solve a problem that we've had the past couple of weeks. We've noticed that we were getting um, more house mic in the lobby, like way more than I intentionally put in the lobby system. And then Darren, who's been doing some of the videos for us, we noticed that there was a lot of house mic also in the main mix um, to our video record, which is not the way that we intentionally do it. So I came in this morning expecting to go to my lobby mix, hit select, hit routing, and then I expected to see um, my left right mix, and I also expected to see um, my house left mic, and I expected to see that really high, but it wasn't. So then I realized we weren't getting um, the house mic in that traditional way. So then I came over to the actual input channels, which is on the F layer, and I went to the house left mic, which as you know, we're only using house left right now. And I realized the culprit on, that means that we're sending that house left mic to the actual main mix. So it's going to our main loudspeakers and it's going anywhere that the main mix is going. So the way to solve that is to hold down the assign button and press the mix button. And you'll see as I do that on and off, it's toggling on. So we want this to be off so that we're only using the house mic to go into the in-ear system and to hit the, um, the lobby only as much as we choose to dial it in to the matrix output and also the video recording. We only send the house mic to one side of the stereo channel and then we send the main mix to the other side so that in post-production we have the ability to have independent control over the house mic and the actual board mix. So, so that's something to make sure if you ever have something that you can see the channel is working and it's hitting the channel strip but you're not hearing it in the house, um, one thing is to check and see if there's a DCA that that channel is a part of that's muted. But if there is, you'll see an actual mute button on the power strip. You'll see this little light underneath the mute button muted that says the channel's not muted, but something that's controlling it is. And um, so that's one way to know it. And the other way would be if somehow someone had accidentally held down the assign and the mix button and actually deassigned it from the house mix. So I hope that's helpful. Have a great day.